Then our final pair, Alan Johnson and Jason Line. Both of these drivers have been trading off that number one spot and qualifying both cars running very well. Can either one of these take away that number one spot that you just saw with Mike Edwards run, a 661 with a nine? Good run by both drivers, but look at Alan Johnson. He takes it away. 661 with a one at 209 miles per hour. Takes back that number one spot. And when it was over, Gary Gerald caught up with Alan Johnson. There was, of course, acute disappointment for Alan Johnson and his team a week ago at Charlotte as he was disqualified from the competition, and you would have thought it might have been a devastating hit in terms of his countdown of the championship hopes. But here he is now as a number one qualifier through three sessions and watching the skies, probably hoping that uh, you don't get a fourth attempt to get out there because those little points are going to be oh so precious for you and your team, right? Yeah, it'd probably be the only reason we don't want it to rain because we get three more bonus points to qualify, and we got a lot to make up here after last week but you know what this team is uh, very determined uh, we're going to go for it every run and uh, try to win every race every round for the rest of the year wish you well thanks Thank you. so that man is number one as we show you the standings in pro stock three sessions we don't know if there's going to be a four alan johnson number one followed by edwards line and larry morgan shane gray rounds out the top eight the bottom eight, look at Greg Anderson right there at that number nine spot. Countdown contender Johnny Gray's in the 10th run. Crusher 12th, the bump spot, Bob Yonke with a 670 in his Pontiac. And when we look at those who are not yet in this field, the big name there is Jack Coughlin, who is in the countdown to the championship, but not yet in the field. And if he doesn't make it, he's going to take a big hit in the countdown.